Right guys, so we're in Lightroom now, and as you can see, this is our reference image, and this is our image. And we're going to be making our light out of this one, and then we're going to apply it to all these other images, and adjust them, and see if we can make them very similar. So, let's start back with this one, and let's get into it. So. Bringing up the contrast. Bringing up the highlights. Shadows a bit. Got to really bring down those blacks. And really bring down the whites. Looking pretty average at the moment, but it will get better. Bit of saturation. And just an S curve. And really bringing down those highlights. Now, we're really going to have to desaturate this, so we're moving on to HSL sliders. Just going to change the hues first. Not changing the hues too much. and bring up the magenta so on the saturation so this is going to make quite the difference and it's really given us our desaturated look down the purples and magentas so that's looking okay but we're looking a little flat there's a little no pop to it so luminance should give us a bit of a pop down the blues and we're getting pretty close so let's keep coming down split toning we it's a really cold looking image so I'm going to add some blues to the highlights And sharpening can come down and profile quick corrections if you want and vignette we want a vignette keep coming down we're gonna add some grain might want that sharpening back in And yeah, so that's about it for that image. You can see there's just a little bit of green still. There's a bit of blues that make it look really cold and a good fade in the blacks. And for the most part, we are finished, but there's a few things you can do to enhance it. So let's grab some filters. 
I just want to really brighten up this midsection. Just a bit of exposure. And a bit of contrast. And reduce the clarity. Done. And I want to light the ground a bit. Just down here. And I'm going to put a bit of a beam of light. I'm going to feather it 100. And yeah, and one more filter coming down from the top. But darkening it as he's got very dark treetops and it's really framing his subject. And done. Where our blacks look a little dark. Maybe bring them up a tad. And I think that looks really, really good. So here's our before and after. Before and after. So really desaturated, cold looking image. And what I'm going to do is save this one as a lot. I'm just going to call it desat or desaturated and create. So let's say we were now working with this image. What we could do is grab these filters and do something like this. Maybe a bit too much. So he's got this real bluey green faded grass down here, and that's what we've got going through there. Yeah, and that's looking good. So before and after, and going to try on another image. go with this one. So let's apply our LUT. Here it is. And it's pretty dark at the moment so let's bring those whites up. Bring those blacks up a bit. Still looking a bit dark. Let's go with right there. Bring the shadows up. And 
it's very blown up up here, so I'm just going to darken the top again. Drop the whites. Exposure if you want. I think you get a very similar image. Slight green and blue to the greens. Very desaturated and looking pretty cold, so that's good. And let's try it on another image. So he does quite a few of these shots where he holds something very close to the camera. And we're going to do it with this one. So let's go about applying our light again. And it's not looking very good, so we've got to correct it. This is a hasn't worked very well at all. But we won't have to change the colours or anything, we just have to change the exposure. And Whites right down. Bring these blacks up. Um, and we're just lacking a bit of color in his hand, so if we come down. Keep that how it was, actually. We'll come down to saturation and just bring this back to 40. And then we've got to drop the luminance to give him a bit more of a deeper color to his skin. That's looking pretty good. We need a darker vignette there. That's looking pretty good. And to really bring this out, what we're going to want to do is we could use fi uh, filters, but they're kind of tricky to work with. So we'll just brush on his hand and on the phone. And then we will increase the contrast. Drop the whites, drop the blacks a little. Maybe up the saturation, up the sharpness. And that's really brought out that phone. And I think they're looking pretty similar. He's probably got slightly darker blacks. So if we came back to blacks, just drop them a little. Maybe brought up our highlights or whites a little more. Dropped out blacks a bit more. Highlights. Ooh. Bring those blacks back up a bit. And yeah, that's looking really similar. So you can save this one as a LUT as well. It's just handy to have that.
I'm going to call this one DSAT plus because we added that orange in. So this, this will be good if we have skin tones in the picture and we really need those oranges to be back in. But otherwise the other lot may work better when we just want to desaturate the whole image like before. And create. So that looks really good. And let's move on to a snow one. So this is actually pretty easy. So if we come down pretty much either one of our LUTs will work on this image. So if we go to go down to we need to get rid of that vignetting. Zero and just expose the image. Uh, let's bring it up a bit. Bring down the highlights. And up those shadows. And keep the blacks down and come down to split toning is where it's really important and what we're going to do I just take a little bit out of the highlights but what we really need to do is add some blues into the shadows and that really gives us the nice cold look so and what he's also done I think he has his own tutorial on this very image he's got a very dark sky up there Just darken that up. Done. So if we go for after put a lot of cold blues in there, a good amount of blacks, and a fade. So more recently he has been posting more colourful images, more moody, more vibrant, more greens, just more saturated, and more blacks. So he's really gone, he's gone a bit more away from that really desaturated look we did on the first image. So now I want to make a LUT that is much more like this one. And what we're going to do is apply our first LUT again. And as you can see, our grasses and oranges are nothing like that. So let's go about exposing this image right first, and then we'll get onto the colors. down to the colors some things can stay the same but things like yellow going more towards the oranges green And saturation. So this is important. Need to bring those greens quite a bit up. They look a little gross at the moment, but when we bring down the luminance, they'll look much better. Blues 
come up a little and onto luminance so this is also very important everything you bring down is going to have a deeper color but yellow I'm going to keep yellow reasonably high because that gives a real pop to everything yellow is hitting the edges of almost everything in the picture and by keeping the yellows high it really adds pop to all the image all of the edges in the picture so I'll show you if I bring down yellow everything just looks really flat but yellow just really pops everything and bring aqua down blue can stay about there and those two can stay the same and with his new images the more saturated images he uses a lot of vignettes so we're going to increase our vignette to about 30 and yeah that's our much more moodier image probably take the blacks down a bit curve Maybe touch the exposure down a little. Fix what we did here. And that is looking much, much deeper and more saturated. Might. I'm going to keep it like that. So, I'm going to show you, so our colours are much more like that, I'm going to up the colours a bit, bring them up to 10. So as you can see they're much deeper, but we still get that uh, faded look. And then if we save this one as well as a lot and then I'm going to call this one set for saturation and create and then if I bring that image bring this image back up and this was a this is one we did before very desaturated and then if I add the saturated one we just did and let's compare it to this image and let's brighten our image up bring the whites up a lot and those blacks can stay down and split turning uh, now we can skip split turning might just try to expose this again Bring those highlights up more. Bring those whites way down. Bring those shadows way down. Blacks. Maybe bring the saturation up 
and yeah. We get very similar colours. We keep keep the that luminance in the yellows and it gives that nice pop to all the other colours. Our greens are nice and deep and those oranges and yellows are a little on the warmer side. So it's looking really really good. And let's try it on some others. Let's put it on this one, some water. Let's apply a lot. And let's expose it. This is going to be difficult to expose. There's a lot of dynamic range going on. saturation right up and we get something pretty similar the blues are still looking really similar that nice light blue sky blue in the water looks really good might want to come down to split toning and take it out of the highlights that looks much better so that's looking really good compare it to that one as well that nice light blue looks really good very similar so let's go so we started with this one so this was our before and after then we did these two four after then we might have done these ones added a lot of blue to get that nice cold look before after and then I think we added some extra saturation before, before, after, and we really got those colors, and then we added it to this image. Really tried to match up those colors, and yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and comment down below who else you guys want to see always looking for more ideas and make sure you let me know if this is helpful the more likes the more videos i will do so thanks for listening